Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our Dith Martians Have Landed playthrough in EU4 with me, your host, Lucky Marine. Now, <clears throat> looks like the Ottomans are going a little bit ham. Uh, I just zoomed out just to see, is there anything obvious that I can see? And there is, and there is. So what happens? So what happens when you let Morocco in? First, they take Gibraltar so that they can land troops in Iberia. And have you managed to get military access through Castile? Can't imagine so. Your rival with Castile. So how has Castile allowed this to happen? Because you're not mates with Portugal here. There's a decision that you can make with Castile. Where either you're all lovely with Portugal or you, you're you not. And if you're not, then you're meant to eat them. And if you don't eat them, a wild Morocco appears and they eat them. So, so so very soon Portugal's going to be relegated to Madeira and the Azores and this is usually the time where if they're smart they go and colonize did they pick up the Canaries as well? Yep. This is the, the point where if Portugal is smart he goes up to the new world and he puts his capital there and then you can get you, you don't form col colonial nations it's just everything that you colonize is yours I mean it's fairly crap development but the uh, the amount of trade that's over there makes up for it you end up mega mega rich and the Ottomans it looks like these borders here are far too um, Crimea liking uh, Crimea looking for me so I think that Crimea have ended up as a vassal of, the, of <coughs> vassal of the Ottomans and then have been integrated um, this is too this is too perfect uh, Theodora Theodora's still there Theodora's still there how are you still a thing who are you allied with no one Theodora has a conquest cast a spell eye against the Ottomans well good luck with that Theodora good luck with that and it, yeah it looks like they're doing quite well the Ottomans in this game surprisingly Obviously, he says. No, no, it's um, Altman's always do well, especially early game. They have like a, a special pip on some of the soldiers. It's like a, a stealth pip. Their infantry have an, an extra pip of morale or something, or I don't know. You have to, you can only see it when you're in battles with them and you hover over the actual units. Sneaky bastards. Iraq is sideways. Um, it's still this. Are you? Do you have relations with the Ottomans? I can imagine you might. No. So who's back in your? Oh man. A man's down here. Uh, Arabian bottom of Arabia. Najid. Najid. And Homers. Really? All right. Anything else that's interesting? Anything else at all? Not really. England is probably now just waiting for is it admin tech 10 so that it can form Great Britain. That's happening really quickly. Uh, whilst also keeping his territories in France. France is a rival. Even Castile is a rival. So if France were to fight England, allied with Morocco, allied with Brittany. All right. But still, this blob and this blob, are you friends? You are. I'm surprised that France hasn't gone to take his clay back. <coughs> or what he considers is his territory. With Castile behind him. I can't imagine they'd have too much trouble pushing England off the mainland. Or, incorpor or incorporating Brittany into France for that matter. That's weird. How about Hungary? How are you getting on? Ard of Austria, do you have a von Habsburg on you? Yeah, you do. Anna. Hmm. So Austria Hungary might form. Interesting. We're a republic because we're a republic, so we can't actually marry into any of these houses, which is a shame. Um, 
have a, an England game going on right now. And we have Poland is House York. Austria is of House York. Uh, Castile, with everyone underneath him, is of House York. It's, it's beautiful. It's great to watch. Now, ships. Okay. And on we go. Uh, I think we're just... We're not doing much. Uh, we were going to have a look into declaring war on gallery. Yep, there you go. Humiliate rival, done. Might just go in there, march in there straight away, seeing as he is 31st of October. Yeah, we're gonna get in there before he can even make it. Nope, don't need you, sorry. Don't even need you. Don't need you. Well, do need you. This is going to be the quickest, the quickest war that we have been in. Didn't have any troops. Didn't have a chance to make any troops. We managed to snaffle in there just as Cleves came out. Are they your rival? Yeah, so I can imagine that was a humiliate war as well. That's not, I like it when that happens. We could probably even go down to half maintenance whilst we're sieging. How mental is that? Is your province already been looted? Yeah. Cleves. Cleves took all the shiny loot. Damn you, Cleves. But here we go. At least, when I said that we weren't going to go to war, at least there's a, a bit of something happening. Hiding? Why are you hiding? Get out. Get out and fight, maggot. No, get out and trade. We need the pie. We always need the pie. More pie is better pie. No, don't hide. Right, 34 stack. You're going to have to come pick this guy up because he ain't doing it on his own. Strength in numbers. That's what, tra that's what trade ships like. They need to be in the herd. In the herd hunting for the pies. All the pies. Alright, go and pie hunt. Bye. Should probably come down and blockade this actually. Alright, let's hunt him. I'll blockade him. Probably don't even need all of you here. So, split half off. Half can blockade. And half can go trade. Off you go. Pull a few of you off. Don't need all of you on there now. Any rebels? No, not really. They stay. They all, oh, Death Martian. Austria's opinion of Death Martian are changed by minus 25. They do stay. Come on, we make most of our money out of trading. I'll go, I'll go rub Austria's special places. Come on Austria. I'll tell you how cool you are. Shadeland. Yeah, we'll do that. Don't have much hope of actually getting it, but... Well, she got claims. She got claims. Uh, no. Why, who are you all with now? You're allied with Denmark. Defender England in England, conquest of Orkney. Oh. Alright, so England have gone for Orkney and Norway, Denmark, Sweden, yeah. Let's say Norway, Sweden, Denmark, but Sweden won't be involved. Uh, if I give you access, then that means that all of these have got access as well, but go on then, England. The enemy of my enemy and all that. All right, captain any ships? No, that's fine. All right, let's go back in, get repaired, 
give you a tick or two. Uh, we'll peace out of this. And that will be our war for today. Have no diplomats. That's because Austria is getting his belly rubbed. And I'm trying to be sneaky in Denmark. Alright, humiliate is power projection. Show strength, however, is power projection and a hundred of every monarch point. Now, that's a... a I've got a decent amount of money, though. You can take Humiliate and the money and war reps and false religion and X and Y and Z, but you can't take show strength and anything else, which is unfortunate, but it's 300 monarch points and you still get the 30 power protection. So, I don't know. I suppose you can tailor it to what you need. Uh, we're not desperate for money. I mean, yeah, you're always desperate for money, but points, monarch points. How long will that give us a truce for? Until 1535. So 15-year truce. Wow. Yeah, we'll take this. We'll take this. We'll show strength. Done. Good. Lost the humiliate rival. Why is that? Are they no longer my rival anymore? Oh, come on. I mean, I'm not surprised because they're only one province minor now. No, we're still... Wait. Oh, it's just conquest. All right, yeah, okay. I can go down to no maintenance. We now have enough money to be Defender of the Faith again, which is not England once. Condottieri. England wants Condottieri. England. No, if we offer if we offer it, then Denmark's just gonna come down and smash us. But what could we win? Well not, maybe not that. Let's actually give him something the meaningful. How about all of those? We'll get rid of the dude because they won't accept condottieri with leader in charge. Not leader that's a family member anyway. So how about now? What would you offer us? No. Come on, man. You're England. You have the English channel. We can Right, well either you want them or you don't. Obviously you don't. Decent amount of money. Majority through trade. I like it. I do like it. Right, have we got another rival somewhere that we can uh Ooh, you tricked. How about nope, how about you tricked? Cleves and Denmark are coming. How the fuck did you... Uh, damn you, Denmark. Saxony? It'd be an expensive war just for power projection. But no one said that this Martians were smart. Austria wouldn't because... Yeah, we brought them into the other fight, didn't we? Fair enough. Fighting another war. All right. We'll wait until better times then. I will take this. E e. Not bad. Um. All right. When this comes along, you can only take two of them. So, make sure that you look through them first. I prefer the pure missionary strength over tolerance. So, missionary strength, yep. Mm, 
No, let's cancel that. Let's cycle something better through. And let us take another. Another. Um, I do like morale. I do like morale. However. That gives us an extra merchant. And goods produced. Cavern power over land. Manpower recovery speed. Plutocratic is looking good. I mean, it's a, it's a mix of everything. Uh, it's not pure kind of, right, we're going to give you all the uh, combat ability or all the morale. It's just, it's a decent mix of everything though. It's a decent mix. I think we will go for it. Let's see what it synergizes with. Humanist. Max Moric Cultures plus one institution spread plus 10%. I say it's alright, but we've never used it. I think I've. I don't use policies of that much. It's usually kind of end game challenge. If, I, if we want to go out with a bang, uh, we, we go pick a fight with a, the biggest person in the world right at the end. Then we'll, we'll get a lot of policies in, but. I don't know. I think this is going to be all right, actually. A uh, good mix of morale, good mix of uh, manpower recovery. Got a bit of trade in there, got a bit of production in there, even a bit of unrest. Available mercenaries, eh, that's probably the weakest one. But no, that's, that's going to be good for us, I think. The extra trader would be nice. The extra trader would be nice. It'll just compound how much trading stuff we're doing already. Yeah, let's go plutocratic. Don't often go plutocratic. Oh, and we uh, pick up mission strength. Not bad. Not bad. Because I imagine that our thing has worn off by now. To uniformity. We've got loads of mission strength. Loads. Reformation branches out. That means that they have picked up a reformed center of reformation, which might not be good for us. We might want to go in there and try and snaffle that off them. Uh, the way that you stop these from converting provinces around them is just by going in there and taking them off them. Bavaria won't come in. Lundberg would uh, break our alliance with Lundberg, wouldn't it? And Denmark. Denmark, is there anyone that you're not friends with? No, friends with everyone. Damn you, Denmark. If in doubt, churches are a decent thing to put down. If, you, if you're stuck for what to do with your money, uh, just chuck a lot of churches down. 40% tax modifier is nice. Seize them and their wealth. Use 10 public. No, let's lose a public tradition. We did choose that thing that to make it up, go up by a little bit extra. What, 0 0.10%? A tenth of a percent per year. The more I think about that, the more I think it's useless. But we can get two more terms out of this dude. Maybe just one more term. Uh, one more term would be the most efficient. Get Diplo up to six. How about we focus military? We're doing a military idea. Let's focus military. And on we go. So how many are working? Could we? And again, maybe? Another one? Trade efficiency. Ooh, trade efficiency. Trade efficiency would be better than proof relations. No, we want the better relations over time. For the better relations over time guy, um, eats away at your exp aggressive expansion better. Trade efficiency at the moment, early game, oh, it's still up at 70%. So 16 with a 66% reliance on trade. Let's get him in and see what that gives us.
Not bad. 2%. 2% ain't so bad. Royal armies plus 10%. Yup. Love morale. I absolutely love morale. I would take morale over discipline any day. Discipline, if you're high discipline, you're essentially a glass cannon. You do lots and lots of damage, but you can't stay in the fight for very long. Um, being a lots of morale, it's a bit like being a... I don't know, a bit like being a jellyfish, I suppose. You can absorb a lot of damage before you, uh, before you start breaking. Wow, that was weird. All right. Anyway, that was that was my alarm. Damn you, salt crisis! Salt crisis. Are you having a laugh? One, two, three. Three provinces at least that produce salt. Are my people walking around with their eyes shut? Three provinces. Three whole provinces that produce salt. And uh, and you're having a shortage. All right. Anyway, tolerant. Mm. We might have to swap you out now, actually. Although I suppose it brings in. Yeah, no. We we didn't have issues with uh, tolerance, though, did we? How we could do with swapping the morale guy out for something that we could use over peace, uh, in peace time, even. All right. Re re call him from. Uh, Australia will get this mission and then arrival of arrival Berg 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 No because you're friends with Denmark aren't you? No just everyone else But Poland would come in and Austria only wouldn't come in because of the amount of favours. Alright, well we'll have a look through them missions after. In the next episode, I mean. This episode we have... Well, we went to war. Uh, I said it was going to be a boring episode, but we did end up going to war. So... Why are you still in port? I'd forget my head if it wasn't screwed on. And so... Uh, yeah, we did all right. I uh, got 30 power projection out of it and a hundred of each monarch point. So, can't grumble. Um, early game, we needed the money, but I think from now on, now that we're established trading dominance in a very good node, I think from now on, we'll probably go show superiority and uh, take the 30 power projection but also then take the 100 of each monarch point if it's not going to get put into tech or ideas we can always use it for increasing mechanicalism we can use it for developing um, especially inside the Lubbock trade node yeah yep picked up a <laughs> picked up a republic thinking Oh great, we're going to do Merchant Republic stuff. Found out it wasn't a Merchant Republic, it was actually a Peasant Republic. And somehow we've turned it into almost a Merchant Republic. I I don't, I don't even, I can't, not even once. Alright, anyway, I have been looking Marine, you as always have been amazing. Join me in the next episode when we see the conclusion to the Britain versus Denmark war. Over, I think the Shetlands, wasn't it, that you were... Uh, no, Orkneys, that you declared over. So, okay, take care.